Hi everyone, today we're talking about how you can exchange 360 feedback inside Microsoft Teams using TeamPlay. But before we do that, what exactly is 360 feedback? Well, it is a method of employee evaluation based on gathering feedback from multiple sources. Those multiple sources can be direct reports, managers, peers, or people outside of your organization, such as customers or independent contractors. So why should you practice 360 feedback? Well, it is a great way to promote self-awareness, reduce biases in evaluations, create a culture of transparency in the workplace, and just overall get more objective evaluations. But without wasting words any further, let's dive right into TeamFlect and let us show you just how you can exchange 360 degree feedback inside Microsoft Teams. Let's go. Now I'm inside TeamFlect and it's all very straightforward. I'm going into feedback, selecting my 360 feedback, and going into an existing 360 degree feedback cycle. Now I'm in my friend Miriam's account and I can see its title and description. Now a 360 feedback is divided into three sections, self-assessment, feedback providers, and results. Now let's complete the self-assessment section for her. All right, I'm putting in my self-assessment and rating myself and selecting submit. Once I do that, the self-assessment is complete. Now let's go into feedback providers. And once I do that, on top, I can see my manager, Patty, and I can see that she has already submitted her end of my feedback. And if I scroll down, I can see my direct reports and I can see who has submitted a feedback form and who hasn't. And let's scroll down further. Right here, I can select a peer and request feedback. And in fact, let's go into my peer Candace's account and let's see what happens. Now, this is the feedback request we just sent out. It is an adaptive card inside TeamFlect. I'm selecting Give Feedback. And once I do that, look, this template will be visible to Miriam. And I'm just putting in all my answers. Let me scroll down, select this one, and click Submit. Done, that's how easy it is. Now, let's go back into Miriam's account. And if I want to request feedback from someone outside of my organization, I can use the external people section. Now, let's go into results. And here I can see the feedback I just received. This is my manager's feedback. And of course, the visibility of all this feedback can be adjusted inside the admin center. Now let's scroll down. And look, this is all the feedback I received from my direct reports. And if I want to filter this by individual, I can just click on their respective icons. Right. Now let's scroll down further and look, uh, we don't have any peer feedback here or external people here, but if we scroll down further, we can see a detailed analysis of our 360 feedback and see how each group scored us. And below we have a detailed graphic which is a visualization of that very same data. And below that, we have an AI generated summary of all the feedback we received, because sometimes you just want to read a shorter version of it. Now let's go into another account. Now I'm going to go into Miriam's manager Patty's account. And right here, she's already completed her self assessment. So let's go into feedback providers. Now she doesn't have a manager. She has two direct reports. Uh, Miriam was one of those. And up here, Lydia. And if we scroll down, we can see that she doesn't have any external feedback, but let's go into results. And if we scroll down, we can see the feedback from her direct reports again. And if I hover my mouse over the respondents, we can see that this one belongs to Henrietta. And if I hover it here, I can see both Henrietta and Miriam gave the same answers. Now, we've arrived at her peer feedback from Lydia. It's all very straightforward and everything is right where you'd expect them to be. But right here, once again, we have the analysis section and we can see how everyone rated Patty. We have a similar visual graphic right here. And below it, we also have the similar AI generated feedback summary. But now 
I want to go into the Team Flight Admin Center and show you just how you can customize every step of your 360 feedback cycle. And here we are inside the Admin Center. I'm going into Modules and Selecting Feedback. Now, if I scroll down, I can see that 360 feedback uh, section is right here. Now, here I can either see an existing feedback cycle or create a new one. And let's do just that. Now, a new 360 feedback cycle has three sections, cycle details, 360 feedback, and the start section. Let's give it a name and a description and move on to the next one. Now, this is where you can toggle all the different modules inside the 360 feedback section. I can either ask for self-assessment, feedback from peers, managers or supervisors, direct reports and supervisees, and people outside of my organization. Now let's toggle self-assessment on. And I'm selecting a feedback template, and for this one, the self-assessment template. Now all these templates come preset inside TeamFlect and they can be customized. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with peer feedback. Select the peer feedback template, adjust the minimum number of people giving feedback. And right here, I can select my visibility settings. And below that, I can adjust who will be able to ask for feedback and from whom. Now, if I want to include my managers and supervisors, I can toggle this one on. And once again, select the relevant feedback template. And right here, I can also select whether I will automatically ask feedback from direct managers. And if I'm set with everything, I have to click next. And the final step is to select my feedback receivers and set a due date. And once I set my due date, I can toggle showing AI summaries on or off. And once I'm done with that, all I have to do is click start now. And that's how easy it is to start a 360 degree feedback cycle with TeamFlect. TeamFlect, build teams that deliver.